Good morning, evening, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. Um, if you like the videos, please like, subscribe. It does help me out a lot. Uh, you know, lets me know where to go, what to do kind of deal. Does let other people see it. Um, share the joy, share the love, you know, friendly stuff. But today I want to talk to you about something specific. A little oddly specific. As you can see, we have a flying brick in front of us and in the background as well. Uh, this is actually my flight of off sprays. Yep. We got five. We call them Tommy Torpedo. I know. Quick, quick, quick with those names over here, aren't we? Um, but this is my, um, this is my bomber group. And I kind of, I, I, I was like, there's no real dedicated missile ship like there was in X3, Albion Prelude, Terran Conflict, blah, blah. So let's take a look. What can be the more cost effective? Now, it's really going to come down to your personal preference, but I want to make an argument for the Osprey. For the Osprey, now what we did is we did the frigates. All right, we did the Vanguard for all the frigates, give you kind of a baseline. Um, Paranid Combat 2, uh, Paranid Shield, well, two Paranid Shields, Talati Shield, mainly for that refresh rate of 0.47, but also gives us a beefy shield of 17.7. I'm thinking, because what my fleet's going to do, it's going to be in Xenon sectors, taking down stations. That's my goal for this fleet, this little battle group. But the biggest thing, the biggest, the biggest thing why I said the Osprey was because of its its drones. It, in here it says units, but it's drones. It carries more drones than even a destroyer. Destroyers carry 10 drones, 10 drones. The Osprey, it's built of drones. Look at that, 17 drones. So for Tommy Torpedo over here, we have two repair drones and then we have 14, no, I'm sorry, 15, 15 defense drones. That's, there's five ships in Tommy Torpedo. So that's roughly about 70 ships or 70 drones that I can bring to bear against any target not alone or you know w without the defensive armament already the turrets on the ship it might be a brick but that brick is gonna hit and it's gonna hit hard and you might say well what about like i don't know a nemesis Let's just throw Nemesis under the bus here real quick. We'll do a Vanguard. We'll set it up the same way. Uh, it won't be... The shield part will be a little different because we are missing a shield. But we will get speed. We are actually going to get a whole lot of torpedo power. We get a lot of torpedoes up front with, what, five? And then we shoot. Which, that initial burst probably kind of can take care of whatever. You get speed. But for Xenon stations, they have drones. Not just drones, but they also have fighters. Your shield already look at that your hull yeah i mean what you got really is you got the speed and you got that initial initial surprise and there you go so i'm with the osprey now we can make mr tommy torpedoes a little faster we can we can osprey vanguard 
Let's just hop in here. So, Mr. Tommy Torpedo, again, we've got Paranid Bolts, two Torpedo Launchers. Torpedoes are expensive. Does it tell me? Yeah. Okay, so Heavy Torpedoes, I got 21. There is one in here with 40. It's a lot of money. In my playthrough, there's a, not a whole lot of missile production, which we are going to kind of offset with some missile production facilities. Build up that supply, right? I got light torpedoes. They were a lot cheaper, but they don't hit as hard. And here's the shields. Two Paranid uh, shield generators and a Talati to give us that, that bulk. Uh, and then Paranid Combat Engines Mark II. Now we can go, we can take this little guy down south over here, get the uh, the split engines, which the split engines that's the Sentinel. We don't want Sentinel, we want Vanguard. Split engines, if we're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, split engines. Let's uh, let's chalk this up. Let's say we uh, upgrade its defensive armament as well for semantic sake. What's the comparison? I mean, we jump up in speed a little bit. Um, our boost speed is down. Our travel speed is down. Our initial speed is is better, which you know might work out um, in certain situations. I haven't really tested them yet. We will test them. Don't worry about that. But I wanted to talk to you about missile frigates. I think that's something that is missing. But has a nice little niche of ships to work with. I really do. Um... And before we, uh, before we do go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about what's been happening. Um, I don't know how to say this. This is the first time this has ever happened in any game I've ever played through X4. But we have some hungry lizards. Fires of Defeat was perfectly free families. Just doing their thing. And then all of a sudden, the Talati said, well, we're going to put a defensive station right here. All right, okay, that's that's that, that's strange. Then they go, well, we're going to put one down here too. And then Zyarth said, you know what? No, we'll put one over here, and we'll put one down here. Don't worry. Don't worry. So Fires and Defeat right now can go one of three ways. And it's ridiculous. I, I've never seen the Talati grow. I've seen them shrink because of and it's Zura. Which I mean isn't really doing anything. I mean I don't have full coverage there. But yeah. They uh they have been they have been traversing through here. They've been traversing through Matrix 9. They had a fleet of phoenixes. I would, I, I'm not even going to kid you. They had almost like eight phoenixes come through here, sit at this gate, clear out the whole sector, traverse down to family to Kerr, and then just leave. I, I was like, what is this? This is crazy. First time I've ever seen Talati do that. I, it's amazing. Um... But yeah, missile frigates. Let me know what you think about missile frigates. If you have any other ideas about missile frigates or missile ships in general, cost effective. I don't want it to be like, oh, well, I have this destroyer and it shoots out millions of torpedoes. How much did a destroyer cost you? Because let me tell you, I did a loadout for an Odysseus. That was upwards of 13 to 15 million. That's not cost effective. I mean, if you have the money, you have the money. But... You lose that ship, 
mind blown. Mind blown. But this is Skillet signing off. Do let me know your thoughts about missile ships, missiles in general in the game. I'd love to hear from you. Signing out.